This video will demonstrate how to use the NCSIML interface to import a job directly from the newest version of PowerMill. This project has a part, fixturing, and a rough stock, and once the plugin is installed, the NCSIML interface will automatically identify all of the components in the selected job operations. It's beneficial to create a work plane at the base of the fixturing so NCSIML can then use it as an attachment point to the machine. It is also going to take any of the tooling that is used and create the models for NCSIML as well as grab the post-process G-code for the verification. Choose the NCSIML icon and start the interface. It's time to identify each component of the job so all of the previous PowerMill programming work is applied immediately into NCSIML. The first window allows for the naming of the project. The folder just to the right drives the selection of the NCSIML work environment that the job will be sent to. The job operation can also be named. After an environment is specified, a list of available machines to run the job on will populate. In this case, only the Huron is present. Now, imagine proceeding as if it was the real-life machine that is being set up. First, the part and rough stock models are going to be attached to the table. Right-click on the icon to add a model, and then double-click on it to expand the window to sort out the files appropriately. It is helpful if the models are well-labeled. Select the rough stock and the coordinate system that was already made for the attachment point. Repeat the same process for the part model, and again for the fixture. Next, open the tool magazine where the interface has already identified any tool that the job is currently using. If there are any tools that can be excluded from the export, uncheck the applicable boxes. Right-click on the machining process again to add an initialization. The initialization provides NCSIML with an offset value to locate the program in the machining environment. Specify this for each offset used. Lastly, add the post-process G-code, the exact one running on the real machine. The project is now ready to be exported. Navigate to the File menu and choose the version of NCSIML to send it to. The interface will step through each operation, generating the NC data for the project and assembling all the files in the environment that it's constructing. Upon opening, NCSIM will automatically create the part, rough stock, and clamp files, as well as populate the job tree. It creates a tool library from the PowerMill models, applies the program offsets in the initialization, and automatically performs the syntax error check on the post-process G-code. Notice that all of the elements have already been placed on the machine table, and without any further setup, the simulation is completely ready to begin verifying the project. Run a simulation to observe the entirety of the program motion as NCSIML checks for any kind of collisions in the 3D environment. Watch as the G-code is dynamically analyzed in conjunction with the machine movements and how the machine control panel provides a live feed that displays the machining conditions. By using the NCSIML interface, the post-process G-code is easily brought in from PowerMill, verified, simulated, and checked for dimensional accuracy before releasing the job to the shop floor.